Welcome back to another Seesaw CTF 2022 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Forensics Challenge, Our Spy in New Terrain, OSINT. Let's get into it. It is up to you to determine who the enemy is going to attack next and when they plan to strike. Their newest recruit is on Twitter as Darkroom8109. Good luck. And they give us a little netcat portal to log into, so let's go and connect to that. Welcome, Agent. We have reason to believe a user with the Twitter handle Darkroom8109 is working with the enemy. Can you help us determine what the enemy is planning? Question 1. When did the enemy agent join Twitter? Please use the format mm slash yyy. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to Twitter. And let's grab the user's name and we'll go ahead and do a search for that. First one should be it. And it looks like he joined August 2022. So that's what we'll put in 08 slash 2022. What is the spy's GitHub username? Okay, so for this one, we want to go to the Wayback Machine. And we're going to take his Twitter URL and we're going to paste it here in browse history and the one we're interested in I think is this August 20th one and if you look at the first post here you'll notice that there's a deleted tweet here that wasn't there on his original profile and it says officially on github follow spy demand to keep up with my exploits so let's go ahead and go to github and let's look for Spider-Man under users. Here we go. And that is indeed a user. So let's go ahead and type in Spider-Man as our answer to question two. What is the full name of the file that contains communications between the enemy and the evil spy? Okay, so for this one, we're going to be looking at the commits probably. So let's go ahead and go to this chat app and let's look at the two commits they have here. And here we go, we have a deleted log.txt. And if we click on that and click load diff, we can see that there's communications between server and client. So this is probably the file we want to use for our next answer, log.txt. Which country is the target based in? Okay, so they give us a little bit.li URL here. So we're gonna copy that and just navigate to it in our browser. and it appears to be a sound file. And it sounds like it's in Morse code. So what we can do is download it. And then we're gonna go to an online Morse audio decoder. I think it's this first one, yep. And we're gonna upload the file. And we're just gonna play it. And you'll notice the message is being kind of printed out to the screen down here as it's translating the signals.
All right, so our fully decoded message after translating the audio from Morse code to plain text is, hello, evil agent. Your next target is a bank. The bank's bin number is 452234. The target swift code is your password for more instructions. Visit bit.ly slash OSINTSEC. Good luck. Okay, so we have the bank's bin number, so we can probably find out the country the target is based on from the bin number. So we're just gonna go do a bank bin number lookup. I'm sure this first one will do us just fine. Type that in. Boat, boat, boat. Just those two. I guess it was that one. Didn't really look like a boat. Oh. Looks like we have to pay for this one. Let's try this one instead. And we, here we have a Toronto Dominion Bank from the country Canada. So, and Toronto is located in Canada. So Canada should be our answer. What's the target's international SWIFT code? Okay, we can probably look that up. SWIFT code lookup. And let's select Canada. Bank name, I think it was Toronto Dominion. Yeah, this one. And then obviously that's going to be located in Toronto, which is a city. And we want this first one, I guess. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here we go. So it looks like T-D-O-M-C-A-T-T-T-O-R is our SWIFT code. And we can kind of see the breakdown down here. T-D-O-M is the bank code, which is Toronto Dominion. C-A is the country code, which is Canada. T-T is the location code, which is probably Toronto again. And then branch code is T-O-R for, again, Toronto. So let's type that in, T-D-O-M-C-A-T-T-T-O-R. And question six is asking, what is a crime? What is the answer? Hint, it is two words. So we know based off the Morse code translation that our Swift code is the password for something. And we probably need to visit this bit.ly link to get to the next stage of this challenge. So let's do bit.ly slash OSINTSEC like it says and we get a PDF file. Let's try downloading it. It says you're so close, so this might be the last step. And then we know our password is T-D-O-M-C-A-T-T-T-O-R. And if we look, it's a picture of a random location. Don't waste your time trying to figure out where this is. What we wanna do is, let's maximize this. Let's do inspect. And we're going to expand the header and the title. And then here you have right here a remember notice that says copyright infringement is against the law. So I think the crime that we're looking for here is copyright infringement. So if we type that in, that's right. Congrats. Thanks to you, we now have more information about the enemy's upcoming attack. Here's a little reward for your trouble. They give us the flag and it's in lead speak. It says, congrats, agent. Good work next time no public server so we'll grab that paste it in and submit all right if you enjoyed the video drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed check out our patreon join our discord and follow us on twitter links in the description box down below and leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below this is almond milk thanks for watching Goodbye, world.